What's up guys, Sky Kevin here, and today we're going over the musket for New World. We're going to go into each of its skills, its abilities, and the fighting styles associated with the weapon. So, let's get started. The musket is definitely a fan favorite of many ranged players. I think this is mostly due to the travel time of the bullets basically being a hit scan, so those with some FPS history can make sure they land their headshots. There's something oddly satisfying about the crack of the barrel when the musket goes off, and it works great as a ranged option for any melee hybrid players that really want to keep the pressure up while they're still at a distance. The reload time and damage of the weapon isn't the greatest, and it's not too useful for large scale sieges and heavily armored players, but it's definitely useful to use since you can shoot at easily the longest range of any of the weapons in the game from enemies so far in the distance that they can barely have time to render in. For the mastery tree on this weapon, you have sharpshooter and trapper. Powder burn makes your next shot cause a burn status effect and makes your shots do additional damage to the enemy. The duration is much longer if you can get a headshot. Power shot makes your next shot do additional damage it gives you a 10% damage buff, deals 10% more damage to targets at full HP, and has a reduced cooldown of 15% if it's a headshot. Sharpshooter Stance allows you to spend the next 5 shots standing still, but with 75% faster reload speed, and reduces all cooldowns by 25% if you land 3 shots in a row. Stopping Power knocks a target back 3 meters, and reduces their stamina regeneration by 10%, whilst also slowing them by 10%. Traps throws down up to two bear traps which root enemies to the ground for 3 seconds and applies a 20% increased damage debuff as well as returns 100% of the weapon damage done to that character while rooted. Sticky Bomb can be thrown at a target and after 3 seconds explodes, dealing damage, giving your character 40 stamina, and direct hits will cause them to be slowed by 15% for 3 seconds. The ultimate abilities are Sniper, which adds 15% more damage to headshots and allows you to zoom in with the musket up to 3 times the view, and Lethal Combo, which increases the damage amount by 20% against targets afflicted by the Trapper status effect. For passives, you have landing 3 shots in a row, giving an instant reload, no accuracy penalty when hip firing, no damage limit on targets 50 plus meters away, 15% more damage for a headshot from very far away, 5% more damage if aiming down the sights for 3 seconds, headshots reducing cooldowns by 10%, 2.5% more damage on consecutive shots on a target up to a max stack size of 6, headshots give a 10% damage bonus, 10% increased damage to enemies below 30% health, increased stamina damage to shields by 50, and 10% armor penetration to enemies not blocking at all. After dodging, you gain a 10% move speed for 3 seconds, attacking a debuffed target gives 5 stamina, hitting a debuffed target gives a 5% damage buff, dodging reloads the musket, you deal an additional 10% damage to targets that are currently under some kind of crowd control, and finally, when backing up while another player is within 8 meters of you, your movement speed is increased by 10%. The main issue with the musket meta is that they don't really have a huge effectiveness when they're far away. Right now, since there's so many easy to use gap closers like the Great Axe, it's extremely difficult for them to keep their distance from enemies as they don't have much for getting away once the enemy is within range. Indeed, most of the time with the musket, you'll want to be so far out of the fight that you're almost not even participating. If that's your playstyle, then so be it, but it only takes one enemy to focus on you and suddenly you're going to have a lot of trouble dealing with them since really traps are your only means of escape. That being said, it makes a great secondary offhand and is very useful if you have any difficulty hitting an enemy with any of the slower projectile weapons. Nevertheless, many people still use it due to its aesthetic and it can be useful in the right situation, just as long as that enemy isn't heavily armored and you can make sure to land a headshot every single time. If you're going to be using the musket, let me know what kind of build you're planning to use in the comments below. I always make sure I go through and answer any questions and read through all of the comments. I'm always making more videos like this one on New World and other MMOs, so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. That's it for today, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.